All right, next project. We're back to the Edge X 600. So I need to clean the carburetors. Uh, and I need to fix the brakes. And I need to look into the rear skid, see what's going on there. At very bare minimum, clean the carbs, fix the brakes. So, uh, yeah, the plunger, don't want to come out. I have another master cylinder sitting right here. Swap them right out, right? Well, I went to break the hose loose and I broke the whole fucking thing. Now it's leaking everywhere. So we got a towel here soaking up all the shit falling off and I have to continue to figure out how to get this stupid fucking thing to break loose without, I don't know. I guess it's already broke so it don't fucking matter. Anyways, I just gotta get that loose and we can move forward with fixing or replacing the master cylinder. Whew. Also, 99% sure there's water in my chain case. Sat outside, track won't turn no more, which tells me that's frozen. Because when I first bought this, it wouldn't spin the track either. And then after it sat inside, it spun. Which tells me there's fucking ice in that chain case. <laughs> Great. Anyways. And yes, I did try bleeding the brakes. Just for shits and giggles. And uh, yep, no go. No go. Okay, we butchered the fuck out of this thing, but I finally got it off. I have a new replacement. It's not new, but new to me, replacement. And since I'm here, I believe I have another one of these that have the button. So I'm gonna dig through my part, see if I can come up to, actually, I think I see it right there. Yeah, buddy. Blue button life, super common for these to disappear. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that too. Sweet, new button, it's all on. Just need to uh, bleed the brakes now. It's gonna be very difficult to do by myself <laughs> and uh, film. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to you guys here in a minute. All right, we now have functioning brakes. That's uh, <laughs> that's a good thing. I promise. <sighs> all right, on to pulling all this bullshit apart and taking a look at the carburetors. Well, I can say with some form of certainty that has something to do with why this sled's not happy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning out these carburetors, and I'll get back to you guys. Jeez. Well, this is probably messing with my audio. Got the carbs in. <laughs> Only doing that high because I don't want the TPS getting wet. But uh, I already ran my jets through. They came out looking pretty good. So, jets are done. Doing the carbs and the bowls right now. You can see the shit coming off everything. Whew. Clean, baby, clean. It'd be kind of cool if you all see the difference from there down and there up. This is actually doing anything. I do have some Don, a little bit of Don just open there, but then I found my simple green, so I added that into the mixture as well. Uh, just running. I don't know what that is. I think that might be like 70 or 80 Fahrenheit. My heating element on this thing smokes. So I turned it on, it smoked, I turned it off, and it just kind of is what it is. So we're going to clean these up, and if I'm not happy with how they look, I can clean those ones up, try to make the best out of the two sets that I can. Okay guys, so the carbs are ultrasonic cleaned, reassembled. I mean, I really went to town on the jets, pretty much what I did. Make sure they were perfectly clean as I pulled a bunch of these over and I ramrodded them into the jets spun around ran through the ultrasonic cleaner should be good um all the oil lines hooked up fuel lines hooked up vents the air box hooked up air box all put back together oh, final touch oh yeah all that's left to do now is clean it off a little bit try to start this thing 
Well, obviously, these carbs are completely empty, so I might take a few pulls to get the fuel flowing back through and uh, get this thing fired up. Choke on, tethers on. Hopefully, it starts in like five pulls. I don't want to pull on this thing forever. this year. too fucking low. Huh. Okay at right now but we're gonna go ahead and start this thing pretty good uh something still feels funny like i don't know i don't know if you guys can see this this thing just wobbles like crazy and super soft so yeah need to look at the rear skid but it runs good 
get some video for you guys but i can't find my freaking gopro mount so i guess uh i guess that's that <laughs> Anyways, it's running okay. It's starving for fuel at idle. <sighs> so it's not done yet. Gotta figure that out. I'm probably gonna just swap a different set of fucking carburetors on it. Fuck these ones, they're pretty gross. And I have other sets of 38 millimeter carbs. So just throw another set on. And also, I'm going to swap the fuel tanks because I am not letting this clear fuel tank go. So I don't think I'm going to keep this sled. So I'll probably throw the black one on it. Keep this really, really, really nice looking clear, gosh dang, clear tank for myself. But for now, let's get this thing to idle pretty good. It actually rips good wide open. So I cleaned all the jets and everything and uh i blew everything out with compressed air but the thing still isn't just perfect and that doesn't sit well with me especially i don't know i just want this one to run really well so we're gonna dig back into it again for like the hundredth time and hopefully this time is the last time okay i thought these carbs were fucked apparently i did okay and fortunately you see that down there that red shit yeah that's the premix from the tank. So we have a fuel leak somewhere, which tells me either one of the O-rings on the uh, water trap plug things or the bowls themselves are leaking or a fuel line is cracked and leaking fuel. I don't know where, but it is. <laughs> Fuck, bro, I know it could be the fucking pulse line. So, Oh, well, hopefully it's not the full slime. That'd be bad. I mean, the fuel pump's bad. But for now, I got to track down a fuel leak on this thing. Let's see if I can figure it out. Because it's definitely running lean at idle. It'll idle pretty good because I turned it up there. So it'll idle pretty high and the idle will fall off. And if I hit the choke, boom, the idle jumps back up. So that tells me it's just running super fucking lean on idle. And probably across the board but this thing was <laughs> i didn't ride it too far i probably rode it for half a mile and she was getting it all right i don't know if you guys see this on video but it's pretty easy for me to see that the whole bowl is covered in fuel so it's definitely leaking pretty good <laughs> yeah it's pretty sweet Pull that apart, grab another O-ring, see what we can do about getting this bad chicken sealed up. <sighs> Try to make this not quite such a pile of shit. Well, I'll be honest, I was tempted to just throw it up like fuel leak, need shocks replaced, because these shocks actually are smoked. This thing is so fucking soft. <laughs> it's retarded. But uh, <laughs> I have other shocks to throw on this thing front and rear so yep progress yep i think that'll cause a little bit of a fuel leak this shit is garbage well son of a bitch see all that red yep that's my oil Turn this off, right? Yep. I don't know if you guys can see that. That fuel pet cock is closed. And uh, it kept flowing. So it's been like, I had to go pick Amber up for work. It's been a solid half hour. It's just kind of been dribbling fuel out. Gosh, dang it. So, threw the fan on it. Kind of sketchy having a heater kick on right now because it is super gassy in here. But the fan's on the sled trying to get everything evaporated underneath. 
And I guess I'll throw some floor dry on this shit. Well, we got it idling good. Hell yeah. So I'm actually glad it didn't idle good because I found one of my O-rings for the bulk. Man, my camera looks like shit. Anyways, I found out one of the O-rings for one of the car bulls was in fact just junk. So I replaced the O-ring, fixed the fuel leak, still didn't run right. Well, it turns out the idle air screw down in there was completely ran all the way fucking in on one side. And I, <laughs> I should have checked that while the carbs are out, but you know, we got her now. Sweet. <laughs> 